In this episode of Chase Travis Straw, I get real bossy. In fact, I tell you exactly what I want you to do. You can have it. World famous photographer Chase Jarvis. We're heading into the holidays. Um, it's it's just overwhelming. I'm starting to see all that messaging, and so I'm sitting here living, you know, living with privilege in um, you know the Western world. With uh, I don't really want for much, but I still can't help but ask or ask you to consider if you do give gifts this holiday, which I I, I absolutely encourage. Try giving experiences instead of stuff. Qualifier one, ding, uh, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. There are, there's a huge cross section of this, the population of the world that does not have these basic needs met. Food, water, shelter. This is a great time as you do give to look, look to be expressly generous to that cross section of the world. Um, it's ideal if you don't just think about them at this time of year, but um, I, that's not the sole focus of this video, but I think that that would be, you know, if you can give to that cross section of the world, give stuff there, that'd be amazing, full stop, boom. For everything else, all of the other people in your world, give them the gift of experience. I, I already talked earlier in my, my last video about sort of doing, what are you doing in the world? How are you being? How are you carrying yourself? What are you loving? Think of the gifts that you can give that are attached to that stuff. And here, let me just, let me get real for a second here. So experience leads to humanity. Experience leads to perspective. Perspective in turn leads to, um, I think being a better human, being you know, experience leads to risk and risk leads to growth and growth leads to personal development. When you give people experience, you're giving them something that they can, they can never be taken away. What people want is connection to other people. People want an emotional, real experience. So what can you do this holiday season to, to give more of that and less stuff. What do I mean by experience? Are you ready? Here's a list of things. Take this person on a walk to your favorite place in the city. Take this person to a movie. Go to an art opening. Take them to your favorite cafe. Go to the symphony. Have you ever gone to the symphony? It's incredible. Take a drive. Don't have a car? Take a walk to somewhere you have never thought you'd take a walk to. Cook dinner. You take this person to a museum. A play. Go experience some art. Give someone the gift of education. To, like, I, I, I'm not at all shy about pimp and creative life. Give someone the, the ability to learn something. Take someone skiing, or if you're down under, take somebody to the beach. Make a picnic. Mm, 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 mm. There's literally a million things that you could do that are giving the gift of experience and not stuff. Let me know what experiences you've given as gifts and how they can be, you know, shared by other people. Other people can take your ideas and do that because it would be awesome to have a, just this amazing list of, of gifts that are the gift of experience and not stuff. We're all so tempted to go out and buy the new, maybe it's the new memory card, maybe the camera's too expensive or a lens is too expensive, new camera bag, the new, and, and I'm not trying to like rip on that stuff. But how awesome would it be if you could give someone the experience of art, of creativity, of learning, of growing, of human potential you know, development, growing your unique voice, seeing things in the world that you wouldn't already or you wouldn't have otherwise seen. So that's it. I got to go. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving if you're one of the Thanksgivingers. And uh, if you're not, we'll see you again very soon. I, th I think I I'm doing at least one of these things a week, so stick around. You can have it.